This is Mask GCT. Check this out. I've got a one-minute clip of Franklin D. Roosevelt speaking. It is true that prior to 1914, the United States often has been disturbed by events in other continents. And all I'm going to do is type some text and see what it outputs. Back in my day, we had good memes. Big Chungus, now that was a meme. Funny and wholesome. What have we got today? Skibbity toilet. Shameful. And the best part about this is that it's all running locally. This isn't some 11 lab server. This is on my machine. In this video, I'm going to go over this new text-to-speech tool, Mask GCT. I'm going to give you a brief overview, give you a couple demos, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to go over the installation steps. So stay tuned if you're interested in running this yourself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Mask GCT. As of recording, it's only been out for about one week. And I don't usually talk about breaking news kind of stuff, but this has got me so excited, I couldn't wait to make a video about it. This is part of the Amphion toolset. A bunch of work-in-progress stuff, including text-to-speech, singing voice conversion, and uh, hopefully one day text-to-music. So a lot of exciting stuff coming out of this team. In short, Mask GCT takes in a sample of audio and attempts to mimic that sample's voice pattern, accent, and speech pattern. So unlike other solutions where it just kind of outputs whatever text, this is trying to match the input sample as close as possible. Now, of course, it's not perfect, but uh, I am impressed so far, especially considering you only need like 10 seconds of audio. Yeah, you can put in more and it'll sound a little bit better, but it really is incredible considering it doesn't take a lot of resources to run this. On CPU, this takes about 5 to 10 minutes to generate a sample, and uh, if you've got a GPU with at least 14 gigabytes of VRAM, it generates something within 40 seconds. And uh, if you want to just try it out, at least of time of recording, there is a Hugging Face demo. You just run it, you don't have to sign in or anything, so completely free, don't have to install it. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, YouTube uh, hates me because I am not a verified account. I will try my best to tell you how to find this stuff, but YouTube does not let me link things in the description, so sorry about that in advance. Let me give you another demo. Uh, in this one, I've got audio from Vincent Price uh, doing his reading from Thriller. Darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Oh, and by the way, I've isolated this audio from the song using Ultimate Vocal Remover. It's an indispensable tool if you're going to be doing any kind of AI voice work. But we've got our sample, and since he's doing kind of a poetry reading cadence, I'm going to paste in another poem, uh, The Raven from Poe, and we're going to see what that sounds like. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, the many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, is of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door, is some visitor, I mutter, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. All right, it's not perfect, but you get the idea. And yes, you can do cross-language text-to-speech. Let's take a look at this example. I like big butts and I cannot lie. As you can imagine, this takes machine translation to a new level. And yes, this is not the first tool that can do something like this, but it is open source and it is accessible to most people running it on their machines. There's also API for this, so it's not like you have to sit around and like manually make the clips and put them into the GUI and stuff like that. So if you wanted to, you could automate this process. So if you want to run this on your own machine, let's go over the installation. 
But first, a disclaimer. This project is under active development. Any steps that I take are subject to change. And my steps are specific to Linux with an AMD graphics card. Installation is going to be very similar no matter what platform you're on, but your mileage may vary. The first thing you want to do is clone the repository. It is located on Hugging Face. In this case, we are cloning the demo space so that we can run everything locally. Once that's done, we will create a Python virtual environment. And after making that virtual environment, then install wheel, upgrade pip, and then install the requirements.txt. So far, this is your standard setup for anything Python. I'm going to let this install, and then I'm going to show you a couple more steps that I had to do to get it working on my machine. At the very top of app.py, there is a strange line of code where they are manually installing a specific version of Gradio. Why this is not in the requirements.txt file, I have no idea, but also, it does not work for me, so I commented out this line of code and manually installed a specific version of Gradio. Now, the comment in this code says that Gradio 5 doesn't work, so I looked for the very last version of Gradio 4, which is Gradio 4.44.1. So the command for that is simply pip install Gradio equals equals 4.44.1. Oh, also, we have to install spaces. Also beats me why that is not in requirements.txt, but here we are. And with all that installed, there is still one more step that I have to do, which is fixing Torch. My machine is AMD Linux, so I'm going to install uh, Torch for Rockham 6.2. It's worth noting that uh, while the requirements.txt calls specifically for Torch 2.2.2, the latest Torch 2.5 works just fine. All we gotta do is go to the Torch website, copy the very specific Torch install command for my machine, and I'm going to pass in the dash dash upgrade argument to pip so that we uninstall the incorrect Torch and install this latest one for Rockham. And after all that is done, I'm going to pray that I did it right yeah, because I'm going off of memory of what I did yesterday. And I'm going to start app.py. And that's it. That's all I got for you today. So hopefully this was informative. I hope you're excited to play with this new tool. I know I am. Here are some final links to where you can find these resources. Again, I am sorry YouTube does not let me link these into the description. Sorry about that. But as always, thank you for watching and have a nice day.